I hate that she hides all our old pictures of Dad. You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, can you grab my cell phone, too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. David's here so early. Mom calls him just a friend, but look at him. He's pretending he didn't just spend the night. And you never saw the condoms, Chloe. You never saw the condoms. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? To all of you American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the world from the bright side. Tell where your heart is American girls like dollies With shiny smiles and plastic bodies I wish I had You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? 
Whatever your boyfriend likes. Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that? Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Never again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Your boyfriend's an asshole! He's been good for me. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you've been rude. He's still breathing. That means I've been more than fair. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such- What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Holy. and... If your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure Dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. 
Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Where's the socket wrench set again? All I see in the garage is family stuff. You know, not your stuff. Dick around on your own time. It's in the toolbox, in the garage. You won't be late to school on my watch. You deaf or just lazy? You said you needed your socket wrench. That's the 5 8 inch. I need the 13 16 inch extension, which is in the set, which is in the garage, like I said. Unbelievable. Whatever. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Home. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. What the f- How you do anything is how you do everything. Now, I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. That's enough! I won't stand for your disrespectful mouth. Regard for authority unites us, gives us dignity, and we are better united than divided. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? You don't know how lucky you are to have a mother like Joyce. She's an amazing woman. Coddles you, it's true, but it's only because she loves you. Problem is, you don't learn discipline that way. Give me one chance to show her how things could be, and you'll be singing a different tune. Mark my words. <laughs> <laughs>